Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and if you want to get featured on a mailbag, what do you do? You got to watch this live. This video was recorded on Tuesday, so use hashtag Raiders or the Super Chat to be featured during our mailbags. This first one is rolling in from Eric M. When are we doing the Tri-Van jersey giveaway? Day one of the NFL Draft, so round one for those of you that are watching. You got to be tuned in to our coverage, which will start probably like 90 minutes 100 minutes i don't even know right before the nfl draft we're going to be doing a raffle so if you want a chance to get your jersey on the raiders report shout out to lucky irish you got to enter the raffle let's go to papaya man 89 where there is smoke there's a fire raiders trade up to three in draft bryce young texans take will anderson at two so that means you think will levis is going one will anderson at two if bryce young's there at three then Honestly, I think even if Bryce Young's there at two, I think that that's where you see the Raiders potentially try to trade up. Let's go to Jeremy's burner. I say we take a risk with Jalen Carter, all D draft. I said this the other day when I was on Graphic Raiders show. For other teams not named the Raiders, you can take a risk with Jalen Carter. I just think when you look at all of the failures that the Silver and Black have had in round one, you probably should try to stay away from the guy that's got all the off-the-field issues. Is he a great player on the field? Yeah, nobody's ever going to dispute that. But you can't afford to miss. So because of that, Jalen Carter might not be the player that you should pursue. Let's go to Raider Nation for life, SMB. Would you draft Will Anderson if he's there at 7? As much as I like Christian Gonzalez, as, as much as I like Devin Witherspoon, I like Will Anderson, and I would take Will Anderson at seven. Is it as big of a need? No. Do I think some people are overthinking the fact that he's had a little bit more of a down year this past season? Yeah, he also got double teamed a lot more. Oh, but he doesn't have as much bend. I don't give a shit. If you told me for the next five years I'd have Max Crosby and Will Anderson as my edges, sounds like I'm going to be feeling pretty good about myself. How about this, though? What player do you believe is the most likely picked by the Raiders with the number seven pick. I want to know from all of you that are watching this live, and if you're not watching this live, then let me know. You know what? We're going to make this the pinned comment on today's show. Which player is the most likely picked by the Raiders with the number seven? And after the YouTube ad break, I'm going to give you my answer. I'm a big fan of looking at odds. I'm a big fan of looking at reports. I'm also a fan of looking to my sources, talking about needs. If I were to make you a list right now of the players most likely to be drafted by the Raiders at seven, I would say Devin Witherspoon is at one. Number two is Chris Gonzalez. And then number three is Peter Skaronsky. Let's go to the Nar Shredder. Stroud War number seven, just saying. Hope we trade back, though. Yeah, I, I would imagine he'd probably get number seven as well if he was drafted by the Raiders at seven. I'm in agreement, though. I want the Raiders to trade back. Still way too many holes for this team, especially on the defensive side of the football. Go defense, defense, and some more defense. Shredder, what's up, brother? I see mocks that have us taking an offensive lineman. I would rather just trade back in that case or just go defense. I agree. I, I really like Peter Skaronsky as an overall prospect. For people that think that the Raiders are going to take an offensive tackle like Paris Johnson Jr., that I don't 100% see because Skaronsky is a much better player. Yes, Skaronsky played left tackle at Northwestern. He's going to end up being a guard, I believe, because of his arms. To me, though, he's one of the most surefire prospects in this year's class. I, I would be shocked, but I wouldn't because McDaniels just seems the only one to Help out the offensive side of the football. Let's go to one of our real ones here. Patrick B. What's up, my brother? We need to build our roster and defense in particular. Quarterback is not on the top of our board, and it shouldn't be. Much bigger needs that will help us win now that need to be filled. Defensive tackle, linebacker, and corner. If the Raiders are able to come out of this draft with pick 7, 38, and pick 70, with a defensive tackle, a linebacker, and a cornerback, I think you would be really, really ecstatic. The problem is with defensive tackle, I, I the defensive tackles I like are usually not on the board at 38, and then they're also not quite available at 70. The Raiders have plenty of defensive needs. We know that, being Raider fans. Let's go to Dylan. Wish me luck, boys. Proposing to my girlfriend after two years this weekend. Hopefully she's not watching the show. 
Do we take Stroud if he falls to seven? Do we take Stroud at seven? I do not think so. And I want everyone right now to wish Dylan some, some good luck proposing to the girlfriend after two years. I, I guess you're going to have to give us an update. Hopefully. It's a good update. That's all I can ask for, Dylan. No? <laughs> I know. Oh, Dylan, good luck to you, my brother. I, I don't know about you. Sometimes I know when people get a little bit worked up, they might have a drink or two to calm it down. Oh, if you're going to have a few drinks during the NFL draft, I do think that you should definitely get some Z-Biotics. I know Chugs and I are going to be chugging some Z-Biotics, no doubt about it. Remember to use promo code CHAT. You're going to get 15% off. And I'll tell you this right now. Anytime I have used Z-Biotics in the past when we've done happy hour shows, it's been great. So promo code CHAT SPORTS for 15% off. Let's face it, after y'all hit me with a bunch of super chats, I don't bounce back well the next day. That is until I found Z-Biotics. Z-Biotics pre-alcohol probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration. That's to blame for your rough next day. Z-Biotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your liver but in your gut, where you need it the most. Drink Z-Biotics before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. Give Z-Biotics a try for yourself. Go to zbiotics.com slash chatsports to get 15% off your first order when you use code chatsports at checkout. Z-Biotics is backed with a 100% money-back guarantee, so if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash chatsports. And use code CHATSPORT to check out for 15% off. Thank you, Z-Biotics, for sponsoring today's Raiders report. So step one, have a Z-Biotic. Step two, drink responsibly. Maybe a boot. And then number three, enjoy tomorrow. Chugs, I hope you and I, I hope you all are ready to be partying with Chugs and I during the draft. We're going to be doing it responsibly. We're going to be having a good time. We're also going to be using Z-Biotics. Let's go to Raider Rob, 1969. Who's your pick? Forbes, Banks, Ringo, or Cam Smith. Second-tier cornerbacks can't wait until the draft. If I had to pick between these guys, it's Deonta Banks, but that's because, to me, he's not quite in that second tier. Deonta Banks is, is actually now more in that Joey Porter Jr. range to me, where there's Tier 1, which is Devin Witherspoon and Christian Gonzalez, and then I would say Tier 2 is Deonta Banks, Joey Porter Jr., and then there's that other tier, which is some of the guys that you're bringing up right now. If you want an overall athlete, you go Kelly Ringo. You want to go with the upside and Forbes, because if he can add a few more pounds, he's going to be somebody to look out for. Cam Smith, also a good player. Out of these three names, though, I will go with Emmanuel Forbes. Let's go to Cameron Sproul. Watch some video from the 1970 Raiders. Can't wait to get back on top. Just win, baby. Oh, man, the only problem with the 70s defense is you can't play defense like that anymore because the, you know, the amount of flags that would be flying out there. But um, I hope that the Raiders can have a competent defense. I mean, I'm just so sick and tired of watching bad defense, bad play. If I got to go through another year what I went through last year from an offensive collapsing standpoint and the defense just not being able to make stops when it did matter, it's going to be a long year, man. Let's go to Stoke for Life Foundation. Showing love to the uh, Raiders report. Much love to you, Stoke. Let's go to B-Rabe. Raiders trade back. Draft Witherspoon at 16. Will not be there. Can't see at 33. Will not be there. Washington. I think Darnell Washington at 38. Gibbs at 47. B-Rabe, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm not, I'm not really sure where this is. So, No, so what he ended up doing here is he, he did a trade back. 33, you're right, is Texans. 47 and 16 is Commanders. B-Rabe, I, I don't know where you got this from, but uh, if you're doing a mock draft, I would say use somebody else because this is, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to tell you, B-Rabe. Appreciate the comment, though. Todd, can't miss another first rounder if the quarterback ain't Bryce Young pass. I don't disagree with you. I, I do not disagree. Like You would literally have to, have Bryce Young almost fall into your lap for me to do it. If not, trade back or just take defense. The Raiders need some defense, for the love of God. Eric, can't see Hooker or Mozzie in the second. 
What do the Raiders do? Kalijah Kansi will not be there available in the second round. I just I don't see a world where he is there in round two. Now, maybe if Jalen Carter just slides down the board, it forces all the defensive tackles to go down. But if it's between the DTs, I'll take Kansi over Mozzie. And then with Hendon Hooker, he if honestly, I'd rather take Mozzie Smith over Hendon Hooker at 38. So Kansi, the clear guy, but uh, he's he's going to go in round one. What's up, Derek? If the Raiders trade back in round one, who do you think it will be with, and what will the Raiders get? In terms of what will they get, uh, it really just depends who's available and who's on the board. I would say the team's most likely to trade back with the Raiders. Titans at 11. I'll say the Patriots at 14. Commanders at 16. And then the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Those would be the top teams to potentially trade back. If the Raiders do make a trade... Hopefully you're watching the show with Jeremy Chuggs and I. We're going to be live for every pick of the 2023 NFL Draft. We will get the picks before you see them on television. we got tons of giveaways. Hopefully you got your drinking pants on. Shout out to Z-Biotics. It's going to be one hell of a show. Make sure you subscribe and got those noties turned on. Let's go to Stoke. I think this time he got it right. Is I thought this said catfish. Is Cal Kalijah Cansey too much of a reach at 7? Character and tape speak volumes about this kid. I love Kalijah Kansi, and what's funny is you can go back three months ago and I was talking about this defensive tackle from Pitt and how loved him, would love for the Raiders to get him. I did a mock draft where I got him at pick 70. Obviously, that's not going to happen anymore, and as much as I love Kansi, pick seven's a reach. Pick seven I will not do. If you can trade back and you can get him in the middle of round one, but you're also able to stockpile, then I'm a little bit more okay with that, but... That's, uh, that's a little bit too rich for me, and that's me knowing the Raiders need a defensive tackle and really loving Kalijah Kansi. Let's go to Hail to the Raider. Is Jalen Carter an option for the Raiders at 7? Is he an option? Yes. Will the Raiders take him? I have absolutely no idea. I don't know how the draft board's going to fall, but from my understanding and the people that I talk to, there is not a single player that the Raiders have crossed off their board. So... If I know people are going to be like, oh, Vic Tafer was right. The Raiders didn't take Carter at seven if he's there. No, he's not. I think they just have other players that they maybe are willing to take because it's less risk. So is he an option? Yes. My question to you is because from a talent standpoint alone, Jalen Carter, you can make the argument, is the best player in this year's draft. It also fits arguably the biggest team need for the silver and black. So do you want the Raiders to draft Jalen Carter if he's there at 7? Give me a yes. Give me a no. Let's go to Eric. DJ Turner is my number 3 cornerback. Trade back. Get Pitt. Defensive tackle in the first. Turner in the second. And a linebacker in the second. I think you mean... Okay, so you're saying by trading back, you're going to get another second round pick. I like DJ Turner. He's definitely not my third. And the only reason why I say that is because... When you watch the tape on Turner, he's not the number three best corner. The reason why Turner's stock has skyrocketed since college football has ended is because he's just such a good athlete. So what have we seen since college football has ended? Pro days, the combine, that's why Turner's stock has risen. He's a good corner, no doubt about it. I'd say he's probably off the top of my head seven or eight on my list, but I get it. People like DJ Turner a lot. I'm, uh, I'm not willing to take him, though, as the number three corner. And if you think he's the number three corner, I think he might go in the top 20. Let's go to Jersey Boy Greaser. Do you think Jacobs gets traded? No. And if he does, we should trade with the Texans, Lions, or Seahawks to get a high first round and get both Gonzalez and Skaronsky. Problem is, if the Raiders trade Jacobs from people who I talk to, I don't think you're getting a first. In fact, I'd be shocked if the Raiders got a first. If the Raiders traded Jacobs, they would be selling low. Like, second round pick, like if you got a second and a fourth, that might be the highest you get with Jacobs. Like, trading up with these teams and Jacobs being involved, it's not going to be what you think it is. I can promise you that. Let's go to Robert. Is the unlikely event that Stroud, Skaronsky, Gonzalez, and Weatherspoon all available at seven, do we trade back and up to try to get two of those non-Strouds? It's, it's an intriguing thought. I mean... If, if all these players are on the board, I would trade back. If, if Gonzalez and Witherspoon are there, I'm okay trading back. Like, I want the Raiders to be able to add more plethora of talent. And then could they potentially trade up? Sure. Dave Ziegler and the Raiders last year had six picks. 
They traded five times. This year, you got 12. You ready for 11 trades? I don't know about you. I'm ready. If you want to watch the draft with Chat Sports, you can do it. Not only are Jeremy and I going to be live on our Raiders channel, well, guess what? We're also going to have live draft coverage on our main YouTube channel here at Chat Sports. So if you don't want it just from an overarching Raiders angle and you want it more from like an NFL analysis for every team, this is the place to be starting at Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. The link is below. Hopefully you join us. A lot more giveaways as well over here and a lot of other Super Chat ideas and all the crazy shit we do at Chat Sports. Let's go to Muhammad. What's up, brother? Mitch, I am excited for the draft. I just hope we don't do a Cleveland Furl and reach at seven. I hope so too, man. Luckily, though, you don't have Mayock and you don't have John Gruden, who will go down in the history books as one of the worst head coach, general manager combinations of all time, being able to analyze talent. I mean, that's just the truth. They were that bad. When people tell me, Mitch, you've never worked in the NFL, or when people say, oh, you don't know, you've never played. The fact that Mayock and Gruden were head coaches, the fact that Gruden won a Super Bowl and he was still that bad proves to me that any single person watching the show and anybody who does what I do can absolutely be an NFL GM or head coach. Why? Because sometimes the guys that are doing it, they ain't good at it either. Let's go to camera. Mitch, who is your steal pick of this draft for the Raiders? Steal pick? Um, I'll do this based off of overall talent. I'll do it based on overall team need and where I think that they could potentially go. I like Dorian Williams a lot from Tulane. He's a really intriguing prospect. The Raiders met with him. I also love Corey Trice, the cornerback out of Purdue. He's a fun prospect to me. Uh, Mafi, the offensive guard from UCLA, if you're able to get him late, could be an intriguing guy. I also like Jamie Robinson, the safety out of Florida State. Uh, Gervarius Owens is a safety I like a lot out of Houston. If he were to be a seventh-round pick, good special teams player. What do you think? Is that enough? Let's go to Patrick. Dave Z is going to show us his skills in the draft. This will make or break his career. Day one starters is a must. This draft will make or break Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels. And I really, really hope I am wrong in saying that I don't trust those two. And I really hope that the Raiders can win some games because... That's all I care about. The Raiders winning some freaking games. Now, if you don't already know, you can always follow me on Twitter. If I didn't get to your question, you can hit me up on IG. I'm at MitchellRenz365. So, appreciate everyone who's tuning in. Friendly reminder, again, we will be live for the NFL Draft starting early on Thursday. So, make sure you're tuning in and watching all of our draft coverage.